Hello everyone, my name is Duration and welcome to a very different video. Today we're going to be talking about the evolution, or I guess you could say the history, of the NSSS Alpha mod, which is, uh, which is quite something. Now there's a lot of versions in the past that I never played on, and we're covering every single change that happened in the single player version of this mod. Now you might be thinking, okay, single player, why isn't he covering multiplayer? You guys have no idea, you guys have no idea how long this took to edit, okay? I- there's no way that I could have done server as well, so we're gonna cover that in a part two of this video at some point. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but it's gonna be a little ways away because old Jai here needs a bit of a break after this one. So, I hope you enjoy it, uh, and you know, it's going to be covering, uh, the latest patches of the game. Hold on one second here. Definitely no hacks going on here. Uh, anyways, it's going to be covering the latest patches of the game as well. I will give a spoiler warning when I'm moving on to those, so if you do want to skip them, you, you won't be spoiled. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. N triple S alpha 1.1.3 Re-implemented sponges. They now remove all water within a five block diameter as they did in classic. New underwater dungeons. Made of bricks, chests have sponges within. Boats no longer explode on contact with any surface and drop themselves as opposed to sticks and wood planks. Water will now create new source blocks if there is another source block below. Leaves now have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping an apple. Fixed a bug where ore would generate less frequently outside the southwest quadrant of the map. Made clay generate much more commonly. Added support for more than five single player worlds. Creating a new world allows you to set a name and whether or not it will be snowy. Improved leaf decay. F3 debug menu shows world coordinates and world seed. Option to disable fog. Pickaxes now correctly break workbenches and red ore. Axes now correctly break workbenches, doors, and stairs. Swords now break leaves, cloths, and sponges faster than with bare hands. Food now stacks up to 8. Doors and signs now stack up to 16. You can no longer eat while at full health. Optional single player commands. Sheep now regenerate wool. Smelting logs now yields coal. Doubled the durabilities of all tools. Crafting ladders now yields 4 instead of 1. Added crafting recipes for dyed wool, the classic palette. Entropless Alpha 1.1.4 Swords now break leaves, sponges, and cloths faster than bare hands. Fixed a bug where placing a sign on a cactus would crash the game. And triple S Alpha 1.1.5. Killing mobs now yields score points. The only way you can see your score is by dying. Generating a new world displays more specifically what it's actually generating. Very in development world type toggle has two choices, normal and floating. Skeletons now shoot purple arrows to better differentiate them from the players. Added some new splashes. And triple S Alpha 1.1.5 underscore 01. Fixed a crash where loading a world with skeleton arrows on the ground when the skeletons that shot them were already dead would cause a null pointer error. NSSS Alpha 1.1.6 On normal and hard difficulty, mobs will use much better pathfinding from InDev. Skeletons are much faster on these difficulties. Clouds are now textured from InfDev. Golden apples are now crafted with ingots instead of blocks but are no longer stackable. Clouds now appear below the terrain on floating worlds. Sponges deactivate when they are on a block which is powered by redstone. The F3 toggle is less buggy. Press F7 to make it rain. New slash help command in single player. Zombies drop flint. Giants drop golden apples. Block ID 86. The default key for opening the inventory is E. NSSS Alpha 1.1.6 underscore 01. Fixed a crash bug where fog would cycle to a broken, infinite render distance when pressing F and shift at the same time, causing crashes on the loading screen. Fixed a problem where rain particles would continue to spawn while the game was paused, resulting in a massive lag spike when unpaused. NSSS Alpha 1.1.7 Greatly increased generation and loading times for worlds. Leaf decay is more efficient and no longer makes big trees look ugly. Added a new generated structure. There are two new world types, Desert and Corruption. Spiders can now climb walls on hard difficulty. 
NSSS Alpha 1.1.7 underscore 01. Fixed a bug where the corruption world type would generate giant towers of floating water instead of normal overworld terrain. Fixed pyramid generation and rarity. NSSS Alpha 1.1.7 underscore 02. Fixed a bug where sand and gravel would fall infinitely when one of its coordinates was over the 24 bit integer limit. Sped up generation times for most world types. Increased the max speed of boats. Added something secret. NSSS Alpha 1.1.8 New 2D Perlin Generator Type Running in peaceful slash easy mode The fog toggle now properly disables fog Added the summon command Made pyramids and water dungeons much rarer Added a toggle for clouds Incorporated Scavolus, McRegion, and fast render mods Slimes are now easier to split and get slime balls from Players look goofy walking around in third person Saddled pigs now drop their saddles when killed. NSSS Alpha 1.1.8 underscore 01. Disabled fast render due to errors where chunks would not render at all. NSSS Alpha 1.1.8 underscore 02. Fences now connect to adjacent blocks. Ice and glass can now be picked up with a gold pickaxe. Made improvements to water rendering. Fluid blocks now properly display in the inventory. The underwater UI overlay is now animated. Fixed glass rendering. Deobfuscated the debug slash F3 screen. Eggs can now be cooked. These can stack to eight. Pork chops and mushroom stew can no longer be stacked. Mushrooms now spread in the darkness. Obsidian tools now have unique textures. All armor tiers have had their durability buffed. Zombies now drop flint and feathers as opposed to just dropping twice as many feathers as usual. Added block picking with the middle mouse button. Player animations were reverted back to 1.1.7 mechanics. Fix the texture of dyes to better reflect their actual color. Punching a lit TNT entity will now diffuse it and drop it as a block. NSSS Alpha 1.1.9 Added creative mode. Added ambient loops. Added something secret to help when playing underwater. Made floating worlds a bit more complete. Added another way to make blue dye. Added an option for scaling the GUI. Added an FOV slider in the extra video settings. Mob spawners look and sound a bit cooler now. Improved fence connection logic. Torches and pressure plates can now be placed on fences. You can now place blocks on interactive blocks by shift clicking. Fixed a bug where hostile mobs did not spawn on normal or hard. Fixed a bug where hostile mobs would stand completely still until they saw the player. Fixed a few instances where waterfalls would render with the stationary water texture for no discernible reason. Pickaxes now correctly mine stone stairs. Temporarily removed brick pyramids from normal worlds due to a crash. NSSS Alpha 1.1.10 Snow and ice blocks exposed to the sky will now melt in non-snowy worlds. Bone meal can now be used to grow crops, trees, and flowers. Added UI support for chests with inventories larger than 6 rows. Made improvements to font support. Gold touch now supports almost every block. The creative mode build menu now cycles back to the beginning once it's reached the last page. Bows no longer require arrows in creative mode. Mining is now slightly more interesting. The player can now run in normal difficulty. Fixed sponge logic so water will now properly flow back when deactivated sponges revert to their active state. Fixed crops being destroyed by water not dropping seeds. Fixed lighting of blocks in the creative mode build menu. Fixed non-gold pickaxes being ineffective on glass and ice. Fixed pick block functionality so doors, redstone, and signs will yield their respective items. Fixed TNT not getting diffused when punched after detonation. NSSS Alpha 1.1.10 underscore 01. Improved the rotation logic for stairs and furnaces. Buffed the speed of furnace minecarts. Fixed a bug where the game would crash whenever stairs received a block update. And now that we're done with NSSS Alpha 1.1.10, we're moving on to NSSS Alpha 1.1.11, which is the latest patch of the mod. So if you're interested in, you know, not being spoiled, uh, then feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp on screen. I mean, there's probably not much left of the video anyways, but if you want to skip to the end, the timestamp is there. But uh, anyways, we're moving on to the latest update to NSSS Alpha 1.1.11. Here we go. NSSS Alpha 1.1.11 Copper now has a resource block like other metals. Items can now fall through leaves. A new decoration block can be found in generated structures. 
There's a new reason to venture far away from your world spawn. Added something to make venturing away from your world spawn more practical. That special tool tier is now obtainable in survival. Fishing rods now work. Added more music discs. Added more ambient music tracks from C418's Minecraft Volume Alpha. Added webs which generate in caves and under overhangs. Added iron pressure plates which are only triggered by players. Added shift clicking in inventory screens. Added a fatigue system to balance running in normal difficulty. Stamina is proportional to your current health. As you run, the edges of your screen will darken as you get more tired. Once exhausted, you will not be able to run again until your stamina returns. Exhaustion is visibly indicated by your health bar shaking, which disappears once you are fully rested. Macintosh players now get a new fancy splash screen. Bull blocks can now be converted into string. Added a new combined use for string and copper. Added the ability to take screenshots with F2. Added a special footstep sound when wearing sponge boots. Added an option to set your modem's volume. The in-game font now supports all characters from code page 437. Rebalance the armor system. Armor protection no longer depends on durability. Gold protects against fall damage and explosions. Chainmail armor and diamond protect against mob damage. Iron and diamond protect against arrows. Leather protects against fire and lava. Floating dungeons look a bit better. You can now use pick block on grass to get grass. Your FOV now shifts slightly when running. Fixed a bug where stairs did not drop themselves. Change the crafting recipe of signs to give four instead of three. Fix the gold apple not appearing in the creative menu. Lava bubbles now spawn properly and make popping sounds. Change some blocks to no longer have massive dropped items. Better GUI scaling. Wumbo chests now look a bit better. NSSS now uses its own saves directory. Fixed a bug where mushrooms were not checking for other mushrooms in their immediate vicinity before spreading. Pressing the enter key on the create new world screen now properly creates the world again. Fixed players losing their skin after the anti-stuck bug function unstuck them. Rebalanced food slightly. Apples now stack to 4, eggs stack to 12, apples heal 1.5 hearts each, eggs heal 0.5 hearts each. A stack of apples will heal 6 hearts, and a full stack of eggs will also heal 6 hearts. Mobs will now look the player in the eye instead of staring at their feet or gazing aimlessly into the sky. Arrows no longer defuse TNT. Fixed an issue where chainmail boots would not spawn in underwater or floating dungeons. NSSS Alpha 1.1.11 underscore 01. Added a screen when launching the game with an invalid Java version, informing the player that they may encounter bugs or crashes. Fixed a bug where shift clicking in the creative mode build menu caused a crash. Creative mode now allows infinite running regardless of stamina or difficulty. Creative mode now remains applied after leaving and reloading a world. Fixed a bug where the season selection button when making a new world was non-functional. Fixed a bug where creepers would explode when they weren't supposed to in single player. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. I am certainly out of breath. Oh my goodness, I hope your brains haven't exploded with all that knowledge that, uh, that I just, you know, said. Uh, and hopefully you, you know, took some of it in if it was interesting to you. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like or a comment down below. It always does help out. And if you're interested in seeing more from me, consider subscribing. Uh, that way you won't miss out on any new videos that I put out. And obviously, if you want to see the, you know, the second part to this, you know, about the multiplayer situation in this mod, uh, then you definitely want to get notified about that, right? So, so maybe consider... Uh, subscribing. I also want to say a massive thank you to uh, Dirt Piper for helping me out a little bit with this video and you know just for making this mod as well. It is very fun to play and I very much enjoy uh, enjoy some of the very strange features in this mod. Um, oh my goodness. Um, yes, uh, creepers as well. Uh, you know, great. Anyways, I think I've broken the immersion of this entire thing now, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, also, you know, links in, in the description for, for socials and Discord. Okay, bye!